Well, hello everyone. Here's Cloud Chief, and I'm actually starting my Let's Play of Lost Vikings. Uh, this is actually a really great game. They actually put it out for a lot of different systems. It was out for Super Nintendo, Genesis. I actually had it for DOS. And I think it was out for the Amiga also. Which is just a lot of systems for it to be out for. Um, this is a really great game, though. I personally think the best system that it was on was the Super Nintendo. Uh, I didn't really ever get a chance to check out the, uh, Genesis version. Um, but the, like, DOS and Amiga version actually didn't really have a background. It was just a black background. But other than that, it was, like, the exact same game. Uh, the point of the game is you're supposed to control these three Vikings, uh, Eric, Balyog, and Olaf, and you're supposed to get them through these areas. Uh, Eric, which is the one in red that I'm controlling right now, he can run fast, he can bash enemies, as you'll see, yeah. And he can also use that to bash and break walls, and he can jump. Uh, Balyog... All he can do is use his uh, sword and bow and arrow to like kill enemies and like hit switches and stuff. And then Olaf can use his shield to block and also to fly. He can like glide with his shield. He can also use his shield to like help uh, characters get to higher areas. And it's basically the game set up as a puzzle game that you gotta use, you know, different characters to get through different areas. It was actually a, you know, just a really good game. And very innovative at it for its time. You can definitely tell that the uh, developers cared about the game and put a lot of thought into everything for it. And... Yeah, right now I'm just trying to get through the stages. It's funny because you go through a bunch of uh, different stages. As you go through, like, you start out in the space one because they got picked up by this, you know, space monster. Then you end up, like, uh, I think it was supposed to be, like, you know, caveman era. And you end up in, like, Egypt. And you end up in, like, this factory area. And you end up in, like, this candy area. It's pretty funny. And, yeah, this is just a great game. Uh, I wish they, you know, I don't think they really make games like this anymore. Sadly, it seems like a lot of developers try and just, you know, rush games out to make money. And they don't really put a lot of thought and energy into games like they did with these. And just, there's also just a lot of humor in it, yeah. Stick close to me, I will lead the way. You wouldn't know which way to lead if you had a map. If you do, don't stop fighting, I'm going to have to brain you both. I don't even know what brain... What's... You're going to brain him? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. The nice thing is, uh, they made it a password system to get through the, you know, stages, and... Like, the passwords are all clever. Like, I know there's, like, one stage where you're supposed to, like, build a battery. And, like, the password's battery, except for it's just, like, B-T-R-Y. But, if you haven't played this game and you like old school, like, SNES games, I definitely recommend, uh, checking this game out. It's definitely a lot of fun. It's a very rewarding game. Like, you actually feel like you accomplish something as you go through the game. So now, like, the beginning stages, I tend to just try and, you know, get one person to the stage as fast as possible and move on, which is kind of what I'm doing here. 
Like I've done most of this stage with uh, Eric and Baliog already. Just, you know, catching Olaf up. Yeah, that one, uh, like, was like, a, I wouldn't even say it was like a cross thing, it's a smart bomb. It actually kills all the enemies on the stage. Which is, you know, a very useful item. Um, they actually, the puzzles get a lot, uh, more complicated as you go, uh, go through here. <laughs> if I bash one more wall right now, my head will explode. I got dibs on his helmet. Okay, but I get his boots. It's great to have such good friends. <laughs> yes, all three, uh, all three of them have to make it to the end. If one of them dies, or you just only like make it to the end with uh, two of them, you have to redo the level. Um, so yeah, you have to do all three of them, get all three of them, eh, to the end, to complete it. Because it stinks too, because, you, you know, you, later sometimes you'll run into a hard stage, and you'll get to, you'll, like, end up someone dying at the end, and then you'll get the other two to the end, and it's like, well, I beat the stage, but you gotta, you have to get all three of them there. And at the top where the little red dots are, that's, uh, their health. So if they lose that, you can actually get an item, so they can actually have like four bars of health. And then there's, you know, there's obviously food, and that gives them, uh, gives them life back. You can actually get like a really big steak, and that'll give them, uh, uh, two pieces of health left, uh, back. Yeah. And this is actually, this is the last stage in this first, like, area. Yeah, whenever you get to, like, this thing, it's supposed to be, a, like, a time portal. And it takes you to the next place. Next zone as, you know, you would have it. Are you guys sure we want to go in there? Maybe it leads back home. There's only one way to find out. Let's go. And they make it kind of funny. Yeah. <laughs> one's trying to swim away, one's like doing flips, and the other one's spinning. <laughs> like, ah. That was intense. Yeah, what a ride. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, th this area is kind of fun. You get some, uh, interesting monsters. And here's the thing I was talking about where... See, now he's four hits. He's got that little blue health... I'm kind of just trying to zip through this level. It's pretty much the end. You can, I've done it before, but it's uh, dangerous. You can jump and hit the switch, and the switch, uh, or the bridge can come down before you hit the ground, so then you can just keep running. But if you do it wrong, you're, you know, going to die, and I don't want to restart the stage. So we'll just bring Bolliog up just to hit the switches.
and just run through Olaf always dragging up the rear. It is funny though, you'll see him do like different things like if you just uh, stand still for a while, Olaf will sit there and start picking his nose. Uh, Bolliog just like shows off his muscles. Eric will uh, tie his shoe. It's nice to be outside again. There was blue lizard, or was it, those blue lizards were kind of cute. Yeah, when they weren't trying to eat us. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. This one. So this stage, yeah, you're actually supposed to use Olaf. Get him some fruit. You gotta be careful if you touch that, uh, yeah, that red at all, you will instantly die. Ooh. Someone hit that. And if you saw, there was that big stake at the top. That's what I was talking about, where you would get uh, two health back. Um. Hmm. Not sure how he got hurt. Apparently from the dinosaur, but... If I remember correctly, there's a... Yeah, flame arrow up here. So the nice thing with the flame arrow is... It only works for that stage, but uh, Bolliog can one-shot basically every enemy. Which is really nice, because later there's enemies that are like three hits. So it's just nice just to be able to one-shot them with the uh, flame arrow. The other thing I really liked about this game is the music. I liked the music in like a lot of later stages. Like I said, I just feel that the developers really, you know, took their time and energy into this. And sadly, I don't think they put as much time into the, uh... Ooh. I don't think they put as much time into the second game. I played it briefly, I like rented it from uh, Blockbuster. But, um, yeah, I rented it from Blockbuster and, you know, played it briefly, but I didn't get very far. Son of a... <laughs> well, he's at the end, so it doesn't really meta. But yeah, if you play emulators or have emulators, or even just have an old SNES and can pick this game up, I definitely uh, recommend checking this game out, because it's just a lot of fun. Very uh, gratifying game to play. Yeah, there's the big steak. Pretty sure you can like just skip a lot of the stage if done right. Yeah, these guys, uh, ooh. Yeah, you can only uh, hurt them when they're not spinning. Yeah, I think you can just, ooh. Yeah, fall off like that. Yeah, and the exit's down here. You're supposed to go all the way up to the top and get a key and lower a bridge for everyone, but... I'm going to cheat and just try and get through the game. But there's later stages where you just you can't really do that. And it's... Yeah, I think it's just funny how they have Olaf just be able to fly with his shield. When we get home, we need, we need to get one of those. Giant snails? Treehouse? 
No, those cool waterfalls that hover in midair. Yeah, they break the fourth wall a lot in this game. Hmm. Is it smooth? <laughs> Actually, might as well just stay down there. Uh, I think for yeah, you, the flame arrow was in there. Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> and the nice thing about this is they did set it up so you can uh, do two player with this, and then you just, you know, would switch between the one character that's not selected. Which is uh, a lot of fun, although. If your friend doesn't know what they're doing, uh, it can actually be like a, you know, he can cause more problems than good, but hopefully you'll be playing with a good player and it'll, you know, actually help you out, help you get through the game faster and easier. It's nice when you can have like Olaf and Boliog teamed up and they can just basically, you know, protect and destroy everything very easily. Ah. Oh. So be careful, yeah, I would have left Eric there to get hit by the fireballs. That's the other thing, I think a lot of like fireballs and fire attacks end up doing uh, two damage to your health rather than just one, so you gotta be careful. Are you guys holding up okay? I'm having a terrible time. Not me, I've never got to clobber so many cool monsters. Ooh, this stage is actually kind of difficult. The reason this is difficult, you got right here in the beginning, there's like, yeah, fireballs. And then I'm gonna have to deal with uh, these guys. I'm actually doing pretty well against them. It can be hard because you to time it with the sword. Because if you hit them with the arrow, oh, I should actually get Olaf at this point. Ah. Is there another one? Yes. Dash the wall, give him, <laughs> give him some food. Could have bashed him again, but then I would have had the, 
dinosaur all up in my face. Whoa. I think, yeah, there's a snail across the way because you gotta float on a bubble. Nice. <laughs> I want to make sure I get these guys off. <laughs> Ooh. Open the uh, switch so the fire wouldn't be shooting. Oh, hi there, Tia. <laughs> Doggy came running downstairs. She's going back upstairs now, though. Debating about going and getting that, but don't think it was worth it. Cause I'm done the stages this stage as soon as I finish this guy off. There we go. I'm surprised that bubble held you up, Olaf. Held all three of us up. <laughs> Watch it, I'm sensitive about my weight. How did I manage to get stuck with these two? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, bubbles. This stage is uh, interesting. They make a big area of bubbles you gotta try and traverse. Clearly the hardest to get across with uh, Bullyog, because with Eric you can jump and Olaf can glide. But yeah, shooting doesn't, like, pop the bubbles. <laughs> you think it would. Ooh, that was a close one. Hi, doggy. I think she wants some food. Sorry, Tia. I'm busy. I got a live stream. <laughs> she goes tearing upstairs. <laughs> Close one. A 
Lots of dinosaurs. <laughs> I'm almost done this stage. Um, what was it? I think the, uh, yeah, Egypt is the next stage, and then after that, I, the factory is my favorite area. It could be just because I like the music in that area, but I also just kind of like the puzzles they have in there. I think a lot of people like the candy area. I'm not a huge fan of that because a lot of that's tough. But I mean, it's still, it's still a fun stage. They definitely. Uh, I remember someone commented. Um, oops, need to go get the key. Someone commented um, on my video that was saying that I was doing the live stream today rather than yesterday. That they should do a remake of this game, and I really think they should. Uh, you could easily put it on, um, like Xbox Live or PlayStation Network, and I think it would sell. Uh, it was just, yeah, it's just a fun game to play. It's fun and rewarding, I think. I've said that a few times now, but I definitely think it's that good of a game that it should be saying, yeah. We all smell like swamp. Boy, do we need baths. Baths, Vikings don't need no stinking baths. We don't need no stinking Vikings either. <laughs> Bad humor, but I think it's funny. Hi, Tia. Oh, wow. Already done the, uh... This is the last area in the cave stage. Yeah, this stage can actually, it's supposed to be long, but, um, yeah. But if you just, like, you're not supposed to know that the key was in there. You're supposed to go up, and I'll show you real quick. You're supposed to go up here, you know, shoot this block, and then she would tell you to uh, go back down and uh, to get the key. Ooh. That was a close one. She got a, apparently the key uh, drains the volcano, because that makes sense. <laughs> There's a lot of things in this game though that don't make sense. It's still a fun game though. Use a key to drain a volcano. And I'm actually doing, yeah, extremely well. I'm going through the game fast, I think. Yeah, pretty much done. Just need to get Olaf there. And he's got a big steak. I go for a big steak right now. Not about anyone else. Funny thing is, I just ate, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> I was actually a story about steak. It was actually at the grocery store yesterday, and I don't know what's up with Giant. I used to enjoy them. Here, hold on. Maybe there's a different way to get back home. Got any ideas, Olaf? Oh well, time's up. Um. was at the store and they had these like I think it was T-bones and uh, New York strips and they were like it was on sale for like 4.99 a pound which was like nice 
But then when I went and actually like scanned them, because you can get these little scanners so you can just scan and bag as you go. And like I scanned it and I'm like, that's not the right price. And then go to look and they're like, oh, it's for only that price if it's three pounds or more. And when I looked, there were none of the steaks there. I had more than three pounds. Oh, yeah. I don't like these scorpions. <laughs> that was just kind of like, you know, like, really? You're going to have, like, these steaks here, and then none of them are actually for the sale price. I'm trying to think where else we saw that was, like, shady that they were doing. Um... Do, 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 do. Oh, they, uh... Like, there was one thing that had a sale that was... Like, uh, tortilla chips were on sale, and... Go and look, and... Uh, the sale was, like, over, but yet the sticker was still there. But then they had other stickers, so it was clear that they, like, put the stickers in there since then. So it was new sales, but they didn't remove the other ones. It was just kind of like... It's just a bunch of shady stuff going on there, and I'm just not sure I'm going to shop there anymore, just because... It's kind of like, you know... Really? And it could have just been this store, but... You gotta be careful with this part, they kind of trick you. Cause you gotta push that block to get the key. But if you don't have all your guys pass there, you'll get stuck. Ah! Oh. See, I'll just show for an example. Cause normally I would just quit, but... Ah! What? I couldn't even finish the stage. Well. And that's what happens when you die. Lightning strikes and you get your Vikings back. I know if you die a lot too, they'll like actually say stuff. But I don't plan on getting any of that dialogue. <laughs> I think it's a nice uh, twist they did for like the Egyptian theme here. I'm not even sure is okay, yeah, there is food up there, but Do this. Let's see if I can get the bomb can get. Nice. It's the other thing, you can use Olaf to uh, like hold blocks up. That's another thing he can do. I just have to make sure I get Bolliod through there before I move him, or else I would get stuck. Game over, man! Game over! <laughs> hmm... Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa. Dog sounds like the one guy from Hey Arnold. I never saw Hey Arnold, so I honestly <laughs> don't know what that sounds like. I mean, it could be because she does. She breathe. She breathes very heavy. She's always like. Need uh, Eric to get over there and hit the switch. <laughs> that was smooth. I almost jumped into the uh, spikes. So you have to hit the switch back, it doesn't? I thought I would have gotten rid of the bricks. Whoops. Got a little secret to get through there. What is it with these Egyptians? Their tombs are full of traps. Why can't they just keep their big trap shut? Har, har, har. Ah, <laughs> oh, this was stage. Um. She gotta be, yeah. Remember what that one dude says. Gives you some uh, tip. I think it's. Yeah. Can't believe I remember the switch order. Because if you get it wrong, you push the block. Well. Yeah, it drops bricks on your head. Wonder if this is King Tut's tune. Who's King Tut? Some guy Steve Martin wrote a song about. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, you know, fourth wall breaking going on in this game, which, you know, adds to the humor. Ooh, I remember this. Climb up here. Isn't there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, lots of nice stuff up there. We'll spread the food out. <laughs> now this part's tricky. I 
because you got spikes all down the bottom. You gotta push the block down so Boliog can shoot it, and then you got fireball shooting at the same time, so. Woo! <laughs> And I think you can go through the left here. Actually, well, let's do it anyway. Uh, but I'd have to do it with uh, Eric. There should be a. Uh, I think it's a mummy. And uh, there's a fire arrow over there, but this area is not terribly long, so I don't think it's really needed. Especially since I still have a smart bomb. Well, that was actually a waste, but... Okay, so was it? I'm trying to remember the order. Ah! Actually, choose a smart bomb. Clothing. What was this supposed to be? A oh, scale. Whoops. I think that's right. No, it's supposed to be the spider. There we go. Great work, guys. Yeah, what teamwork. Maybe we'll get caught up to the majors. <laughs> oh, this stage. I don't like this stage. You gotta be careful, you'll get squished if you do it wrong. Or, you know, stabbed on the spikes up there. You gotta be careful with the mummies. If they touch you, you just instantly turn into another mummy. Now with fire arrows. What? I apparently dropped the bomb by accident and just you know, killed Eric. I didn't even see myself drop the bomb. Thing. I don't like these uh, snakes. I think this is the only stage they're in, though.
I don't even know if I needed the flame arrows. Kill him. Ah, shoot. No. Yeah, I didn't need the flame arrows because I'm already done with him. I just got to use Olaf to go get the key. Gotta be careful of the uh, yeah, green acid slime stuff. That's instant death if you touch it. No more of it? Okay. Yay! Decent flying, Olaf. Great fighting, Wallyog. Yeah. And no one made any more dumb mummy jokes. <laughs> okay, I think this is the last stage. And, oh. Yeah, I believe this is the last stage in the uh, Egypt stage. That was a close one. <laughs> Eric's getting all kinds of beat up here. You gotta go down here, you gotta just There should be a key in here, although lots of mummies. I don't remember where the key is. There it is. Hopefully, yeah, the here we go. Good timing on the blocks. This part is actually kind of tough, if I remember correctly. Gotta try and climb up top. You don't want to get crushed. Believe it, it only goes to there. So I should be good. Yeah. Just let it build all the way up. Mm -hmm. 
Yep. Where do you think we'll end up this time? We're somewhere surrounded by monsters with nasty traps everywhere we turn. Yep, that sounds about right. These are my favorite set of stages. And I love the music for this. Oh, yeah. mm -mm -mm. What do you think those pounders do? Smash big fat vikings into little flat vikings? Let's try not to find out. Oh, come on. Um, I know you can go up there. Actually, yeah, you gotta go over here. I think was it? Being gutsy over here. You gotta be careful with these buzz saws. They actually can go through Olaf's shield and they'll just keep hitting you. Like you'll get hit, 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 hit and just die. Don't wanna try it? That's not a chance it. I'm pretty much done this stage at this point. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh, come on. Can't get an error through. Nice. I like how like Olaf did nothing for this stage really. <laughs> He's still just sitting at the start, didn't even move him. <laughs> just keep my shield up the whole time and uh can uh he can just walk past those uh little pounder things. Eric, why are you always such a or er, why are you always in such a hurry? You need to relax a little sometimes. My father was a runner and so was his father before him. I guess you could say I was born to run. Oh Eric, that was bad. Like a lot of the jokes in here. Not all of them, but a lot. I like, yeah, when you get in these machines, how it changes, like, their helmet, so it's like a worker's helmet. Yeah, you gotta be careful, because... Yeah, that electricity will kill you in one shot.
Yeah, I definitely, this is definitely my favorite set of stages. I just like, uh, you know, all the different stuff they have you do. Um, I don't know, it's like, where's the magnet? Oh, I've been working on, uh, well, here, um, if Tomato is so evil, then why does he leave all these bombs and machines for us to use? No one else in video games wonders about that stuff. Yeah, quit being a troublemaker, Olaf. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, breaking fourth wall jokes in here. Well, this is probably my favorite stage. You gotta make a battery. Like, the exit's right there, but you gotta make a battery to get through. Um... But I'm working on, uh... Uh... Was it? Far Cry 3, uh, footage. Or not working. I have that. Because I have the. I've had the recordings for Far Cry 3 for a while, but. Sorting through about 14 hours of video game footage takes a while, so. Ooh. So bear with me. Uh. Uh. Far Cry 3 is coming. I think it's going to be a good review. I have some special surprises gonna throw into the review too, but just a lot of footage to sort through. I'm about three quarters of the way through it. And yeah, then I can just start editing and going from there. I hate these things. Like, it's instant death if you touch them. Um... Son of a gun. Oh, so it's supposed to be Olaf that's supposed to come over here. Well, let me take out... Whew. It's a close one. <laughs> so now we can make the battery. There you go. Drop the battery off. I think it's a clever stage that they have you build a battery that you need the asset, you need the coil, and then just metal. Oh, 
Oops. Ooh, this stage. Um, I'm trying to remember in what order I'm supposed to do everything. If you don't do it in the right order, yeah, things are gonna go not so well. Um, is it, I think it's Olaf that's supposed to come that way. Uh, and then, yeah, I gotta climb all this with Eric. I think there's a key you gotta yeah, keep going. It's like, oh, I can go down because that's where you're supposed to go, but then you can't get back up. You might be able to, but if you do, you gotta go through all that again. Bomb. I think I can use the bomb to kill this dude. Open that path for Olaf. Gotta, yeah, destroy these for Olaf. Yeah, you gotta hit that switch so it doesn't get fried. So I was like, I knew there was an order that you had to somewhat do it in. <laughs> I think this one has a good joke in it. I'll make sure to... Yeah, we can read it. You guys have the feeling that we're being watched? Yeah, almost like someone's controlling our every move. <laughs> you two are just paranoid. Oh yeah, well who is that person staring at us right now? He's right, let's get out of here. <laughs> Trying to remember this stage. There's a lot of bombs I think go on in this stage. Oops. Well. Really? Smooth. <laughs> wow. Bomb fail. There we go. Luckily they give you some extra bombs. Actually, I think I want Olaf down there. I know 
You, Bolio can't kill that, like, robot dude which stinks unless he has fire arrows, but Eric can beat him if you bash him three times. Actually, there is, I remember, there's... Yeah, I gotta destroy... He's over off the cover. Oh! careful since he only had one health. about it for this stage. walk any faster? I'd like to see you lug this shield around for a while. Yeah, or a broadsword and a lifetime supply of arrows. <laughs> we'll see how fast you walk. Uh oh, I think I hit a nerve. You guys just take your time. That's better. <laughs> This is a fun stage, and I should have probably taken Olaf up first. But. sure why Eric's down here just somehow getting hurt. Wow. I thought I had him in the <laughs> machine. That was smooth. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Oh, 
Come on. Alrighty. Ice. Wow. Now that's a face palm moment if I ever saw one. I'm just in shock that I just did that with Olaf. I think I'm trying to go too fast. trouble with stage. Oh. We'll get it this time. I'm sure of that. No squishy Vikings, yeah. Wait. Hmm. Did not know that was there. Well, that's cool. make sure I don't do what I did with, uh, yeah, Olaf. There we go. We should be good now.
What a challenge. <laughs> How on earth do we survive that? We have guts, courage, we're Viking heroes. And then we woke up. And then also restart it like three times. Ooh, what's this one? Um. I'm gonna say, yeah, this one. I'm gonna use Olaf to yeah, get up top here. sitting there like flexing his muscles. There is something I like about Olaf, how you can kind of like free fall with him and then just throw a shield up last second. That's... Can I actually salvage that? Actually, and now I definitely can't salvage it. Um... Hmm, I don't remember that. So I just have to make sure I give uh, Olaf a smart bomb. Actually, I can just try and fall there. So, if I... Nice aim. <laughs> Sure, I get Olaf that smart bomb. There we go. I 
man, yeah, I gotta get them all through these, like, serrated blade things. Bouncing on the screen. <laughs> Monster's traps. Is any reward worth this? If we make it back, maybe they'll make yeah, they'll make us into a Saturday morning cartoon. Wow, I wonder how I'd look on TV. It would have actually been an interesting cartoon premise. If they would have done that, you could have actually. There's a lot you could have done uh, with this if you made it into a cartoon. I think. So I'm actually shocked they didn't. All oh, right. Um. Or actually, I think I need Eric to get the flame to do that. I need all these guys up here anyway. Let's get the flame. Because when you turn the flame on, it kicks the machine on. The machine gives me the tools. The tools opens the door. Well, the other thing is, the furnace hurts you too. You have to make sure you get the uh, flame arrows just so you can uh, destroy it and get out. I know I had a problem with that for a while because if you don't get the flame arrows, you can't do anything. Should be it. Then we go to the candy stage, which is pretty interesting. There's a lot of new enemies. There's actually a uh, like an evil bolliog you have to uh, fight against. He's like all blue. He's weird. I don't even know. Like, like anteater type things that spit these blue balls at you. <laughs> Then you have the candy stage, then you go back to the spaceship where you fight Tomato. I think that's his name, the last boss. 
wonder where we'll end up this time. Maybe it'll take us home. Or maybe it will drop us in a black abyss. Or we will fall endlessly and no one will hear us calling out for help. Forever! Olaf, always the optimist. <laughs> no, not into the void. Hi, Tia. I'm still doing my let's play, so I can't really give you attention. Scream! I don't think we're in Kansas anymore, Toto. Where's Kansas? And who's Toto? Yeah, these are funny since you, like, inflate. <laughs> Would be uh, interesting if you could really do that. Just get a bicycle pump, pump yourself up so you're full of air and then just float. Ooh. That was fail. Hi, Tia. I can't really give you attention right now. Yeah, they this stage has you do a lot of like running around to get like random keys and this that and the other. That was a lot of work. I had to get a key just to get a key. The uh, other funny thing is if you hit the spikes when you're like blown up, you like pop like a balloon. You go like poop. Oh, there's a funny trick, too. I'll go ahead and do it. It's kind of like a glitch. I think Bolo just looks funny how he's blown up and he's holding a sword. My toes? Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, you what is it? You need both bombs to do this glitch. Oh, that was a close one. And apparently I can't jump there, so Now, oh. 
So the glitches with this bomb, because what happens is there's a, yeah, that's, wow. Okay. So that switch up there, when you hit the switch, it, uh, the blocks go away where the key is. But, so if you blow it up first, then hit the switch, it causes a glitch to happen. And, um, I'll show it. It's not a big deal, but... Actually, why am I coming up here with... I should be doing that with Olaf. You are really distracting me. Sorry, I am reclining, so you can't touch me. <laughs> she doesn't like when I recline, because then she's like, "Oh, I can't be near you." Yeah, so now she's over in the corner pounding. Big gut. Since so we have to wait. Um, come on. It could have been close. Switch. Let Eric get the bomb since he's the one that needs to do it. two bombs and then I'll try and do the glitch again. This time not jumping into the spikes. <laughs> here and then that's basically what it does because it's supposed to just destroy the one and it'll just shake like this you know till you beat the stage 
not an amazing glitch, just you know, something that's interesting that I always thought was just kind of funny. Stumps make me dizzy. Yeah. They make you look like Olaf. And they make your voice sound funny too. So I'm guessing you're. Somehow you're using a bicycle pump and getting helium? Um. So Olaf has to go there. Um. Trying to remember. I think, yeah, you can... To get some food for Bullyog. Yeah, I was. The stage has a lot of uh, like separation with your Vikings. You have a lot of like solo stuff you do. It's actually a, how most of the game is from here on out. Like, uh, thought I was tapping R and it wasn't doing anything. Alright, so yeah, you fall there. Should be it for this stage. Yep. Oh, look at all this candy. Oh, I've put that candy back. Come on, guys, it's for my kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> This one, this one is. Whew. Um, you gotta hit the right combo of buttons to get, yeah, you know, the Vikings passed. So I can't. I think it's yeah. So obviously, if you do it wrong, they're just gonna go. Bleh. Dead on the spikes. I think this one has like a similar pattern. There we go. And it was similar. And now in this crazy world, there's uh, the 
intestines are now that, like, fist thing. I need to use Bolyog to get Eric across over here, and this one I have to hit like multiple switches to get him across. I think. Yeah. So I want to hit that one, then that one. So. I want to confirm so I don't kill him. And I have to start the stage over again. Yay! Success! Now, uh, yeah, I gotta get Olaf to fly to get the red key. Oh no, I just thought of something terrible. How can you think of something terrible in a place like this? If we don't get home soon, we'll be late for supper. <laughs> You're probably already missed supper at this point. Eight ball. Um, This is another one we are where they want you to separate from your guys. Wow. Well, at least he died early in the stage. Um. Wow, really? <laughs> okay. Why am I having such problems? There we go. Not sure what the problem was going on there, but... We got the issue solved. I think there's more of, yeah, these weird shooty thing ant eaters. I don't know what the heck they're supposed to be. I mean, it kind of looks like an ant eater, I think. A two legged snuffleupagus. <laughs> Actually, we could. Alright, so now I'll just have Olaf to do. Get the yellow key. Yeah, 
Okay, don't pop on the spikes. Hmm, where is the yellow key? Smart bomb that I don't really need. I hope I didn't miss the key. Oh, there it is. Yay! The wallpaper in this place is awfully strange. What do you think, Olaf? Anyone for a quick game of checkers? Checkers. I haven't played checkers in a long time. this set up so yeah you gotta get the keys from one of the other guys and then pass it along to Olaf so that way it'll destroy the floor and he can float downwards trick you because it looks like oh I should go and hit that but yeah you need to make sure you get Mollyog over that way and then what is it because Eric's got to go off to the left Nice to be on a stage where there's just there's candy canes everywhere. Just eat candy canes. Mm. I don't know if we can make it much further. Of course we can. We're Vikings. Thanks. I feel better now. Ooh, this one. Oops. <laughs> Trying to be slick and just jump across the whole pit there. I just stopped midway through my jump. It's a little trick you can do here also. Because you're supposed to go all the way up. 
to get that red key, but if you put Olaf right here, you can jump up there with, or you can die. You can jump up there with Eric and get the key so you don't have to go and fly back down. Which. Tia, no. Okay, maybe I should stop trying to speed through it because it's just slowing me down. I'll try it again. There we go. <laughs> yeah, go upstairs and get Mandy. <laughs> you don't listen very well. Be, feel weird to be fighting against a doppelganger of yourself. Um, hmm. Trying to remember. I think. Yeah, Bollyog's supposed to go up and shoot a switch. Yes. fans down because the fan will blow you around you have to later use like manipulate fans to get around while you're blown up it's not easy um, I'm trying to think if there's something I'm supposed to do with this bomb or not You push this, and that opens the switch to get the yellow key. Must be chocolate, like a chocolate waterfall you can fall in. Might be a good way to die. Lots of chocolate. Nom nom nom. Chocolate and candy canes and frosted stuff. Yeah, with cherries on top. <laughs> on the mountain top. There we 
go. Get the key. Ooh. <laughs> this one there. Yeah, they just... They like to leave a lot of spikes around in this stage. Kind of funny dropping the bomb when you're inflated. It looked like a chicken, sort of. Chicken dropping eggs. Like, let's just rest here for a while. He just wants to stuff his face with candy. Let's not slow down now. I know we're getting close. We are. We are getting close. Ooh, this one. Mm -hmm. I need Eric to. Go up here. I believe Olaf needs to go down below, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think I need to. No, I gotta turn this on. But I need to remember to turn it off, or else you kill Olaf later when he's trying to get out of there. Um, yeah, I think, so yeah, you need to blow him over here. That switch hits the fan right there. We'll do some more stuff with Eric, because there's another fan, yeah. Turn this off. Turn that one off. And that should be it for Eric on that part. Go ahead and get the meat just in case. Because if you didn't hit the switch there for that fan, it would have just blown you back and then you would have gotten stuck. I think actually, is this the last stage in this area? I don't think it is, just... Oh no, it's not. I was thinking we'd go up over here and there'd be the elevator, but that's another area. Um, there should be a bullyog over here. Here, yeah, and you would die if you didn't have the key. <laughs> really, that hurt. Work my way up with Eric. 
Normally, Eric's like the pooler for me throughout the game. I have him do most of the stuff. He didn't do much this stage. <laughs> Don't fall on the spikes if they're there. Well, we're making progress. I'm sick of spikes. I want monsters. I want monsters. Stop whining. I thought those walls were giving me a headache. <laughs> Trapped. Yeah, there should just be this and then I think one more stage. This... Come on. Well, if I remember correctly. Because this stage is really tricky. Like, you have to do everything exactly right, or. There we go. If you don't do this stage exactly right, you end up with like all kinds of issues. You're like, you gotta bash the wall, get Olaf under here. Yeah, because if you don't have Olaf there, uh, Balyog would get stuck here. Oh, noosh. Actually, that's not necessarily a bad thing. So I know you gotta get Olaf. Yeah, he's got to be under here to push that switch, so... Yeah, we're still good. I was worried for a second I screwed that up. He does. He looks like a chicken laying an egg when he drops a bomb. <laughs> and that's interesting water. I don't know what I'd do if I think I'd saw checkered water. <laughs> oh, crud! How did he get hit through Olaf? Well, that really stinks. That was the end of the stage. Um, okay. We'll just keep that for now. Because that would have been a better use of the smart bomb, I think. <laughs> He 
Use that for the anti bollyog. Um, let's see, I hit the switch, right? Yeah. Keep running up there, and I'm like, oh, let's just do that. Um, This is the last area. Last stage. And this part's kind of like a timed area. Yeah. You gotta do everything right or you're gonna die. So now we're back on the spaceship. Phew, that was close, yeah. But we're safe now, nice work, man. Well, here we go again. And yeah, this is, there's only like four more stages, although the stage before the last stage is actually like three stages in one. You'll see why when I get there. And these are pretty tough. We're back in space. Good, now let's find this tomato character. Yes, yeah, he doesn't find us first. I gotta wait there. Um, so I can't remember if I want to keep dropping or not. Yeah, I did. I needed the key. Lots of lasers and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, yeah, that's right. I gotta. And you gotta like climb up top here. Thank you. 
This should be... Oh. Can I even get back? Uh, son of a gun! No, there's no way to get back. Wow. <laughs> I screwed that up by getting too many items. That really <laughs> sucks. That's, kind of, that's actually one of the reasons why these last stages are so hard. If you make a tiny mistake like that, Gotta start the whole thing over. Stinks too when you have to actually uh, like restart. Not because someone died, just because of missing an item. Yeah, we'll leave the elevator down. Just in case I somehow screw up again. I'll have my uh, finger on the trigger ready to uh, throw away fruit if necessary. Um. This should be the last key. And yeah, you gotta be careful on this springboard. I've definitely screwed up at this part before. Uh, and that jumped right and ended up hitting the... Uh, Shocks and just stinks to start over there. So you're back aboard my ship. Why don't you let us go home, Tomato? Silly Vikings. Don't you know that? All evil space aliens need innocent prisoners. 
Nice motive. Say this was another one, yeah, where you end up splitting up with everyone. Everyone has their own little separate path. Back at the start. So you gotta drop the bomb there to hit the switch. Timed it, had to get hit, and then fried. These last stages are tough. Making silly mistakes. Yeah, I think there's only this stage and then two more, but like I said, the one stage is like three stages in one. I can't think of another uh, stage in here. How you can remember just stupid little things like that. Exactly what switches it is. Oh. 
All right. Let's not screw this up again. <laughs> Gutsy there to try and rush through. Whew. One more. There we go. Success. Now I have you right where I want you. Standing next to the exit? Quick, let's get out of here. Wait, that's exactly what he's expecting us to do. Or maybe that's what he wants us to think he wants. Now I'm confused, let's just go. Yeah, that was a little confusing. Yep, and welcome to the arena. You have survived longer than I expected, but persistence alone will not save you now. Farewell, my friends, haha. -ha. Hey, matter. Why don't you just come out and show yourself? Shut up, Hollywood. What are you trying to do? Get us captured right this second? No, but this guy is really getting on my nerves. Enough chatter, let's move. Um. Ah. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. This is where you have, uh... Three areas. That's not really the exit. As soon as you get there, you get moved to another area. This radish. Yeah, there we go. Screw those scorpions. They're just horrible. <laughs> Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. 
Not so fast, Vikings. You're right. We're ready for you, Tomato. What's the matter? Are you afraid? Oh, yeah. I really think you need to rethink your strategy. Come on, Olaf. Who does this guy think he is? I am Tomato, supreme ruler of Crouton. And you are my prisoners. You will not escape. Yeah, so if I die here, I have to go all the way back to the very beginning. Um... I think I need to uh, yeah. back off and get my guys there. <laughs> Not worth the risk. Eric's just down there bouncing. Ho 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 ho! That was close. I thought I was gonna hit the uh, electric thing. I also like how they have you, uh, fight Tomato. It's a fun battle. Oops. Where do you think you're going? Out the exit, Tomato Head. Please let us go back home, Mr. Tomato. But you haven't even seen the ballroom yet. You two ought to be diplomats. Very funny. <laughs> You gotta be careful here. Especially need to be extra careful because I really don't want to go and do all that again. Another thing I remember is you don't want to just sit uh, in this uh, gravity lift thing because when you hit the ceiling it bounces you way back down and you're likely to hit the electric things so I know there's been times where I've done that where it's like oh because I gotta place the bomb I'll just leave my guy up here and then he ends up dying as I switch to another guy. So 
So don't do that. Um. I think this puts you in like a little room. Yeah, I'm almost on the stage. Yeah. I gotta climb out. Oh! You gotta climb out, knock them out, and then the exit was just right above us. And, wow. That sucks ass. I just can't believe I died right there, like... Still beating myself up over that. Are you serious? defensively Come on. I just can't believe that ball hit me twice in that short amount of time. I'm rushing too much. <laughs> what happened? We failed again. I hate it when that happens. Yes. I get slow and steady. That wins the race.
I kinda wanna... Nice. I'll hold on to that extra... health thing for now. I have lots of vegetables right now. Alright, three vegetables and an extra thing and no hits. Looking good. Son of a gun. Nice. Got lucky and didn't get hit. to trade off some vegetables. So I'm gonna assume I want him for the health for that one part. Get the food just in case. Alright, so try this last area again. We will get it this time.
slow and steady. If I give all the fruit and vegetables to Eric, that it would be eight hits to kill him. I will give him three, so it'll be seven. And of course, I don't get hit at all. to the last stage as long as I somehow don't screw this up. Yay! Shh, quick, let's hurry out the exit before he finds us. And there he is. Gur, the three of you have been a constant headache ever since I brought you on board. Does that mean we get to go home now? Hmm, okay. Not. Now this is an alien that I can't wait to bash. Well, I'd love to chat, but I've got mean and evil things to do. Have fun. And this is an interesting way how you, like, fight him. And beat him. Probably through multiple. Yeah, I was gonna say, where's the. Ah! Two hits, but. Not terrible. Especially since, yeah, there's food. Somehow mistiming stuff, hitting spikes, electric things. Oh. 
There we go. No hits that time. Now let's just make sure I don't hit the electricity. So I know when you shoot him, yeah, he does like that thing. He's like all. Gravity off again. There. And he falls. Ah! <laughs> I gotta bash him three times into the wall, I think it is. I think if you... Yeah, you do it right, you can just keep bashing him. Nice. So four times. Now you get to fight him as a team, which is pretty easy. I want Olaf to go down there first. Up he goes, and we're pretty much done. All I gotta do is hit that switch and it's over. So, just to make sure. Um, there it goes. Bye bye! <laughs> and that's the game! Whew! Some rough at the end. Ending's kind of funny. Phew, that was close. Yes, it was. Now let's jump in that time door and get the heck out of here. Wait, I think I can fly the ship. 
No way, Olaf, you can barely fly your shield. <laughs> Trust me. I'll just turn this knob. Flip the switch. This is kind of funny. And press this button. Wait for it. Self destruct sequence has been initiated. Five seconds till self destruct. Okay. So five, four. Guys, I think we should take the time door. Three. Two, one, zero. And I've been counting really slow. Good idea. Let's go. Negative one, negative two. Like it was like 15, 20 seconds, and it's like five seconds. You gotta love it when they do that in video games and movies. Forest looks familiar. They've returned. Hooray! Yeah, da da. We've been to many strange and exciting places. Nowhere as wonderful as home. As Olaf starts picking his nose. <laughs> Look what we brought back from the future! I like how Olaf says that and then he's just... He's just dancing. He's not playing, but... Some guitars. This is, uh, you know, all the credits, and they actually nicely because they show throw all the monsters in. But yeah, that was uh, Lost Vikings. I definitely recommend uh, checking the game out if you haven't played it before. If you like SNES games, it's definitely a game worth playing. Like I said, it's just it's a lot of fun and it's just gratifying. It's like when you beat a level, you're like, yes, I beat it. You actually feel like a real good uh, sense of satisfaction. I'll give was it Ron Miller level design. He did a great job with the level designs. I'll have to look up what he's done. Like, oh, at other games he's done. Because I don't think the second one was as well received as the first one. And I still don't think, I. while well, I know a lot of people played the game and enjoyed it, I don't think, like, a huge amount of people you know, nowhere near as much as obviously the more popular games like Mario and Zelda, but it should be. This should definitely be in everyone's SNES library. Another funny thing is there's a, another game that I liked as a kid um, is it called Rock and Roll Racing. The funny thing is Olaf was actually a secret character in that game. I'll have to, uh, I'll do, do a live stream of that sometime soon. Of rock and Roll Racing. That was just a really fun racing game. It's, you just drive around in cars and you can get missiles and, like, mines and hey, you blow up other cars. It was just a lot of fun. Fun SNES game.
you know, watch for the Lost Vikings 2. It's actually funny. A lot of games do something like that and the game just never comes out. And they actually did come out with a second one. Like I said, I don't think that one was as well received. But that was Lost Vikings. Uh, like I said, definitely check it out if you get the chance. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'll be doing the seventh level in Halo. I'm gonna just try and knock those last two stages out soon. Once I'm done with them, I'm going to uh, I'll do a live stream of uh, me playing the was it Dot Hack Infection. And I'm not gonna do live streams of dot hacks all the time because they're long games. I'll just do one live stream at first, do it for like two hours, and then after that I'll just cut them up and do uh, let's plays. But dot hacks are a fun game. Um, it's actually more for the story, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, may you have success in all you do.